To create the torso, select New, Metric, then Standard Millimeter IPT and Create. Start off with a sketch and select the XZ plane. Select Rectangle and start from the origin. D for dimension on the keyboard. Vertical dimension is 8 and the horizontal is 15. Finish the sketch and extrude that rectangle 1.15 millimetres. We're then going to loft a shape. To do this, we need to create a work plane above the surface we've got here. Select work plane and hover over the shape at the top here. Click and drag up. Change the distance to 11.6. We're then going to sketch on this work plane, so select sketch and select the work plane. Click on rectangle, snap to the top line and click once and snap to the bottom line. Dimension the width of this to 11 millimeters and make sure the height is 8. We want this rectangle to sit in the centre of the bottom rectangle. Click on the line and click on the edge and drag up. Make that 2 millimetres and finish the sketch. We then want to loft from the bottom rectangle. So select the top surface and select this profile up here. It will then loft from this shape to the small rectangle in the middle. Click OK and you have a solid shape with two different size rectangles joined together. You can then turn off the visibility of the work plane by right clicking and deselecting visibility. We're now going to shell this. Currently this is a solid object what we want to do is remove the inside of it. To do that, select Shell and change the thickness to 1.25. Don't remove any faces and select OK. You can see here there's a transparent shape inside to show what part has been removed. We're now going to create the neck. To do that, select Start to the sketch and select the top. What we want to do is have a circle sitting right in the middle of this rectangle at the top. So select Circle and hover over the line at the top and you'll see the yellow dot change to a green dot. If I drag that down, I end up with a dotted line. If I do the same thing and hover over the vertical line, it will change to a green dot when it hits the middle. If I then drag in towards the middle, I end up with a dotted line. Where the two dotted lines meet in the middle, if I click, that's exactly in the middle of the top rectangle. Click once and drag out. D on the keyboard for dimension and change this to 5mm diameter. Finish the sketch and extrude. We want to extrude that up 5.75 and OK. Once we've done that, we're going to chamfer the top. Chamfering the top will just help guide the neck into the head. You're going to select chamfer and the top edge and change it to 0. 
two five. Next thing we're going to do is create the holes on the bottom surface for the waist to slot into. I'm going to rotate round and look at the bottom. And I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this bottom surface. I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to draw it in the middle. So I'm going to hover over and find that green dot again. And I'm going to drag out from the edge. I'm going to roughly put it in position and I'm going to click and select and drag out. I'm going to dimension this to 4 millimeters. Then I'm going to dimension it from the, the edge 4.375 millimeters. What I want to do is create exactly the same thing on the other side. So what I could do is draw the circle and dimension it again. Or I could use the mirror tool. If I create a line of symmetry down the middle of this base, I can then select mirror. The profile I want to select is the circle. And the mirror line is the straight line of symmetry. If I click apply, that mirrors exactly the same as what I had on the other side. If I click on done, finish sketch and extrude, I can then select both of the circles, extrude subtract and as long as I cut through the shell I end up with the two spaces to attach the waist. Now you're going to extrude subtract the holes for the arms to fit into. The last time we created the holes we created a mirror and a sketch. This time we're going to mirror a feature. To start with, I'm going to start with a 2D sketch and draw on the slanted side. I'm going to start with a circle and ensure it's in the centre. So find that green dot again and bring it down. Dimension to 4 millimetres and from the dot to the shoulder edge Make sure that's 3.5 millimetres. I'm going to finish this sketch and extrude, subtract to cut through to the shell. We want to repeat that on the other side. To do that, we're going to use our work planes. Click on work plane and select the vertical flat side here. Rotate the torso round until you can see the same on the other side. And then click on that. This will then give us a work plane that runs exactly through the middle as a line of symmetry on the torso. We're now going to mirror this feature. Select mirror again, like you did in the sketch mode. Only this time you're going to select the feature. The feature you want to mirror is this extrusion 4. If I hover over extrusion 4, you can see the dotted line that surrounds that extrusion. Click on that feature and then select mirror plane. You're then going to select that line of symmetry, which is the work plane. And you can see that the green lines come up and show that it's going to cut something exactly the same on the other side. Click on OK and the hole is cut exactly on the other side. We can now turn off the work plane by right clicking and unselecting visibility.